Discord PY is coming back. If you hadn't heard already, on the 28th of August, the creator of Discord PY announced that it would be shutting down forever and that your Discord bot would no longer work. So after hearing this, you may now have switched away from Discord PY. You may be using a different library, maybe like Nextcord or PyCord. However, in the last week, the creator of Discord PY announced that in fact, Discord PY will be returning effective immediately. So what does this all mean? What's going to happen? And how is this going to affect you? Well, in this video, I'm going to go through all of that. So Danny, the creator of Discord PY, announced a couple of days ago in his Discord server that Discord PY would be coming back. And in this post that he made in his server, he linked to a page he created on his GitHub. And on this page, he wrote all about why he's coming back. I'll leave a link in the description for this if you want to go ahead and read it yourself. However, I'll give you a quick brief overview now. Basically, he goes on to talk about how he thinks all of the other alternate libraries aren't actually um, what he hopes them to become. As in, he, does, he doesn't think that's the full potential that they could get to. He, was, he specifically says that he was hoping that after half a year, there would be a clear alternative library other than Discord PY. But he goes on to say that's not the case. Personally, I actually do think there are some other good alternatives like Nextcord and PyCord. I'm going to be totally honest, I do slightly disagree with what he said here. I do think the Nextcord and the PyCord library are both really, really great, good alternatives. But anyway, he asked the reason why he said he's decided to reinstate Discord PY, because he doesn't think there's any good other alternatives out there for people. And then on the rest of his article, he just goes on to talk about all of like, his different features that he's already implementing and stuff he's been working on to bring his uh, Discord PY up to what it should be. And I say up to what it should be, because if you don't already know, in April 2022, so two months time, Discord will, will require all Discord bots to use slash commands for users to interact with their bot. And at the moment, Discord PY does not support slash commands. So when I said before bringing it up to speed, I meant in terms of like adding slash commands to Discord PY, that sort of thing. And that's basically what he goes on to talk about in the rest of his article, just all of these different examples that he's added, like autocomplete, for example. And yeah, then he also goes on to talk about future plans, about what he hopes Discord PY will become. OK, then, so you now understand why Discord PY is coming back. But you may now be wondering what's going to happen to your bot, because you might have already switched over to another library like Nextcord or PyCord. Do I switch back or do I stay with like the Nextcord or PyCord library? Well. I'm going to be totally honest. I believe that if you switched over to like Nextcord or PyCord, I think you could very easily and happily stay with Nextcord and PyCord. You've switched your bot over and that's great. And it w and if it works great as well, then lovely, even better. So what I'm saying is if you've switched over to another library and you're, you're very happy with how your bot is, I don't feel in the slightest that you should switch back over to Discord PY. But let's say you've just finished building your Discord bot in Discord PY and you didn't and you haven't switched over to any other library. Well, then I recommend that you do carry on using Discord PY as it will have all the features and it will stop you from having to do the hassle of moving your bot over to a separate library. I hope that makes sense in what I've just said. So if you currently are using another library, stay with that. However, if you're if you're using Discord PY, from the beginning and you haven't switched over to any other library, stay with Discord PY. I'm very intrigued to see what the future of Discord PY holds and what other features they implement and whether other libraries like Nextcord and PyCord can keep up with Discord PY. Because what might happen is if you are using another library, you might actually do in like a couple of years time have to switch back to Discord PY because just those libraries haven't caught up or they've just failed. But at this current moment, sticking with whatever library you're using at the moment will be fine. Well then, so that's everything, Discord PY is coming back. And I hope this video's cleared up about why it's coming back and what you should do. In terms of the videos I'm gonna be making about Discord bots and all of that, I haven't fully decided, but what I'll most likely do is make videos on Nextcord and Discord PY, if that makes sense. So the best of both worlds. But that now brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you are now excited about Discord PY coming back. If you enjoyed it, please do consider giving it a like and maybe consider subscribing. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya!